Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw a jack-o'-lantern in a cool hat. Uh, basically a cool top hat. It's gonna be really neat uh, and I think it's very much in the Halloween spirit. So, uh, we're gonna be using this Crayola brand marker and this paper. If you want to be able to draw this, stay all the way till the very end of the video. It's only gonna be like an eight minute video, relatively short, but the reward is great. You know, you get to learn this. Um, that's it. If you want to be uh, informed about Halloween videos through the year, hit the subscribe button and hit the, uh, you know, bell notification. That's going to let you know when I post, it's going to pop up on your feed and that's it. So let's get started. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to draw a curve right here for the left side of the, uh, Jack Lantern. Curve right here for the other side. I'm gonna throw a hat over here. I'm gonna throw the hat pretty pretty deep on his head here. Don't forget to hit the like as well. When you hit the like, uh, it lets me know what to post more of. If you want more uh, Halloween stuff in general, I will definitely post more. If you hit that like, I'm gonna post a lot more often to give you a lot more choice. Going over here, closing off the sides of the hat, at least by the brim of the hat. Curving up, curving up, curve uh, straight across curve. It's like a, it's a very gradual curve, but nothing too extravagant. And now we go to the top hat part. Okay, I'm gonna start. On, oh, I'm even gonna mark it off. Kind of make it easier for me. Going up here. Curve down here. All right, doing really great. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give him the old, uh, like, uh, what is this thing they have? It's like a neckerchief thing going on. Like a neckerchief thing. And it's basically inside his outfit. It's like a ye old timey outfit. I'm not sure what they're called curve line here. It's going to go down here and he's going to have a collar for a kind of like a suit thing going on. Alright, I'm going to go over here on this side. Line out here. Line out here for the collar. I made him a little asymmetrical. Hold down. A V shape in. Curve down here. In. Right on. Line down, line down, line here, line here, curve, curve. Gonna pull a line here in, down over here for kind of where the, the the blazer or whatever you call it, the jacket buttons up. I might even put like a button right here, button right here. Kind of brings the whole thing together, you know. Line over here, line over here, uh, for kind of where it's sewn in from the from the, you know, the the seam. And right here, I'm gonna put some lines right there for the side of the actual jacket. May throw some fold lines in here. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here to the eyes, pull in, down, curve over here, over here the same thing, out, and by the way you can, you can make whatever face you want at this point on this, right? It's kind of up to you, you can use your creativity, put a different face if you want, different expression, over here, straight. And I'm gonna go and throw, this time I'm gonna break the smile up into chunks. And these two triangle forms. And I'm gonna fill it in here. Fill it in 
in here. Fill it in here. I'm filling in that that space as well in that area. So right now it looks more like a snowman. We gotta make him look like a pumpkin. So I'm gonna draw these thin lines curving along the surface of the pumpkin here. And I draw a line like so. It has to be thinner than the line than this line over here. See how thick this line is? It has to be thinner than that. So that it comes off like detail. It doesn't look like somebody painted those lines on the pumpkin. It looks like it's an indention of the pumpkin itself. I'm not gonna draw them through these as well. They're not gonna they're gonna you know what I mean they're not gonna touch. I'm not just gonna right? I'm gonna draw it in here, give it a little space, like so. Line down here, line down here, line down here, line down here. And I'm going to draw a line up. Curve around here. And I'm going to try to fill in parts of this top hat because the hot top hats are generally dark but it's not gonna be I'm not gonna kill my marker over this because it really will you know waste my marker I'm just gonna do as much as I can and I recommend the same you can always do this with colored pencil I'm mostly using this for the demonstration right and I'll color in this I'll fill this in over here and that's pretty much it let me know if you enjoyed this. Please hit that like. Uh, go to other videos and you know and watch them and hit the like as well because the likes really matter. Um, it helps the algorithm out. If you go to the description, uh, you will see a what do you call it? You will see a free gift I put for you there. It is Halloween drawing templates. They are basically how-to pages, like on a single page, I like a, like to go through how to draw it on a single page. And there's a hundred of them. That's a lot. That's a, a kind of unheard of for a giveaway. Um, and it was a product of mine a few years ago, but I'm gonna give them away this year because I just think it's it's a good idea. Past year's been hard for a lot of people, and I, I want to give something away. So that is completely free, uh, made to print. You know, you can download it. And it's in uh, the first link of the description. So go check that out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And stay spooky.